Hello everyone, Race Beyond Matter here and in this video I'm gonna talk about how I personally set up Automobilista 2 to get the maximum of the driving experience of this game. I will bring on the table my force feedback settings for my Simulcube and also the force feedback settings from the game itself and I will try to explain why I use them that way. Also triple screen settings and specifically how I set up my field of view to get the maximum of the driving experience. Now, I absolutely believe that if you set up properly Automobilista 2, this game have absolutely brilliant potential to give you endless hours of joy and fun driving experience. I know those kinds of videos must be straight to the point and I know many of you click on that video because they want to see something specific. That's the reason I'm gonna add in the description below all the different parts so you can go and check there. But but if you're gonna try this game for first time i strongly suggest watch the entire video because there are few small settings that really can drive you crazy and that being said let's do it let's start with the wheel settings now those are for simulcube but you can apply the same logic for the rest of the field you can copy whatever you see on the screen and in general those are the settings i use for almost every game out there except for this game, the bump stop range, which I put lock to lock to 542. And the reason for that is I use mostly GT3 cars and I found that this rotation range is the sweet spot for me. In game, the gain is up to you, but the rest, for example, the low force boost, I don't need with my wheel because it's freaking strong, so I don't need any boost on the low forces and the fx i also set to zero because i don't want to feel any other noises except the grip itself and also dumping i don't like any dumping i put that to zero too now very important i'm not saying those force feedback settings are the best in the world okay but those settings are the best for my feelings, my understanding of the force feedback and my driving style, that is very important to understand because I am very aggressive in my driving style and use a lot of weight transfer to make the car rotate in the corner the only thing I want to feel is the amount of grip and I don't want any dumping, friction or other force feedback effects to slow down my reactions what I want to say is don't ever take any advices for granted because there is no general formula which can complete everything we are all different we have different feelings different driving style different muscle memories and different perceptions of the world and that really must be general rule in every aspect in your life if you want to optimize and maximize you really have to explore yourself so be explored try different things and see what really works for you Launch the game, go to options and then controls. On this part you choose type wheel and then you can find your brand and your model but if you use direct drive wheel like me you have to choose custom. Make sure you choose on pedal type separate and then go on section force feedback and choose type custom. To be able to calibrate your inputs, your steering wheel and pedals First we have to go to edit assignments and if you use direct drive wheel like me this part is very dangerous so be very careful. Choose all the inputs before we move to the next one. And once you are done you have to go back to control scheme and now you are able to calibrate your wheel and pedals. And now you can go to configurations where you can fine tune everything. I found sensitivity around 50 is about the sweet spot and you can fix here your dead zone for your inputs. Another important part is to go to edit assignment again and go to camera view. Here you have to choose buttons for all the different camera options which you're gonna need in game to fix the perfect fold. If you use VR, the things are pretty simple. You just launch the game from VR mode and 
you are done. If you use triple screens, well, go to triple screen settings. And all the options here are pretty much self-explaining. You just have to measure things and add numbers. The bigger difference here is we have separate settings for each monitor, but the fun part is we have here vertical offset, so if your monitors are not perfectly aligned, you can fix that from that vertical offset. And the other fun part is if you use the bezel free kit from ASUS, on the bezels here you can go negative just adding a minus in front of the numbers. And that's how you can set the perfect picture. Another important part is so many people ask me lately how I locked my car to the horizon so it's not shaking like crazy and many people complain that they are getting motion sickness. You can do that from camera settings and then go to configurations and just choose those settings. On field of view settings you will find different cameras and I know most of us we use cockpit camera so that is the number I found it works the best for me and can be your starting point but you can tweak that a lot and then you can either choose the focus speed sensitivity and if you choose yes the picture will be a little bit more extend and that's how you're gonna get some extra sense of speed if you are done with all that you can jump in the car and do you remember those buttons we set for the seat position you can start tweaking those till you are happy with your field of view now, I know for most of you, all those settings are very simple and are just another game, but trust me, there are so many people who struggle to set up the game, including me, and I spent several hours till I found how to set up everything, and I was looking for information and I didn't found anything, so that's the reason I decided to make that video. And of course it will be much more easier and a lot less time consuming for me now to answer all those questions I'm getting every day how to set up this game. So, much love everyone, happy racing and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye!